AI readiness program for class 9 and 10 is based on experiential learning. That is to learn by doing. So you will be practically doing all the activities to develop your social and technological skills. So here we are in the first session on introduction to artificial intelligence for class 9. Artificial intelligence is a term that fascinates people all over the world. It was a term that was limited to science fiction initially. We have been mostly witnessing it in movies and TV serials. But with the development of science and technology, everything has changed. Nowadays, we frequently get to hear the terms like big data, robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. Most of our smartphones, daily devices, and even internet uses AI. Whether we agree or not, AI has become a part of our daily lives. For example, AI helps us to navigate to our destination with the help of Google Maps, identify a person or an image in Facebook, predict the word that we are going to type in Google searches. So these are some of the common examples of AI in our day-to-day -day lives. So what is AI? Is it a form of intelligence, a field of study, or a type of technology? It is all of these. So how do we define AI? Artificial intelligence is a technology and a branch of computer science that deals with the study and development of intelligent machines and software. In simple words, AI is teaching the machines to learn, think, decide, and act as humans would. AI has its footprints in almost all fields May it be Max, Biology, Neuroscience, Sociology, Psychology, Computer Science or Philosophy. AI has definitely left its marks. Now let's see a brief history of AI. In the year 1956, a group of scientists from different backgrounds decided to organize a summer research project on intelligent machines. Four bright minds led the project. John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon. It was here that the term artificial intelligence was coined by John McCarthy. Humans have natural intelligence. We learn with what we experience. For example, as children, we were naturally curious about fire and we never understood the dangers of fire. So, when we keep hands near fire, we realize that it hurts. So this way, we gather information and store it in our brain. The next time we go near fire, we realize that we have to be more careful. How do we do that? We retrieve the past information that is stored in the brain, analyze it, and this helps us to decide and take the action of not to go near fire. Now let's have a quick comparison of human intelligence with artificial intelligence. Human intelligence, as I said, is based on cognition or experience of us in daily lives. AI, as it states, is artificial in nature. The decisions that it makes is based on models. Data is fed into the machines for decision making. But the decisions of AI is free from bias. It does not incline to a specific person whom you like to take decisions. Humans, on the other hand, can do multitasking. While playing a game, we can simultaneously listen to music, but artificial intelligence machines can do only those tasks that they are programmed for.
there are two types of AI which we call as strong AI and weak AI. Now strong AI includes the capability of understanding a vast scope of activities with generalized human cognitive abilities. So it is assumed that these machines possess cognitive abilities like how the humans would and take decisions on their own. So they will be able to find a solution without human intervention. As of now, we see such AI only in movies. We don't have them in reality. Weak AI, which is also called narrow AI, are the machines that are designed to perform specific tasks. For example, the smart speaker Alexa, Sophia the robo, and self-driving cars are all examples of weak AI. Let's learn a few advantages of AI. AI machines won't be affected by hostile environments, thus are able to explore space, do tasks like mining or digging fuels. They can think logically without emotions, making decisions without bias and assist people. They can replace humans in repetitive, tedious tasks in many laborious places of work. AI would have a low error rate compared to humans if coded properly. They would have high precision, accuracy and speed. AI can organize and manage records better than humans would. So these are some of the advantages of AI. Now let us look into the disadvantages of AI. It's questionable whether it is ethically and morally correct to have robots, androids to recreate intelligence a gift of nature that shouldn't be recreated. So this is a question that's popular these days. Robots can lead to severe unemployment unless if humans can fix unemployment with jobs. They don't have common sense. If we ask a machine to walk from Delhi to Kanyakumari, it will not realize whether it is possible to go by walk. It would continue to walk. They cannot work outside of what they are programmed for. Every AI machine is designed to do a specific task and would be limited to do that task only. AI can cost a lot of money and time to build, rebuild and repair. Now let's learn a few applications of AI. Robots can use data from past operations to inform new surgical techniques. It helps the surgeons to determine what is happening during a complex surgery by providing real-time information about the movements the surgeon makes during the procedure. A facial recognition system is a technology capable of identifying a person it works by comparing the selected facial features from the given image with faces that are available in database by comparing the patterns, textures and shape. It is also described as a biometric artificial intelligence based application. A chatbot is a piece of software that conducts a conversation via auditory or textual methods. Such programs are often designed to simulate how a human would chat with a partner. Today, most chatbots are accessed via virtual assistants like Google Assistant or Siri or Alexa or with the help of Facebook messengers or via organizations, apps and websites. A self-driving car, also called an autonomous car, or a driverless car is a vehicle that uses a combination of sensors, 
cameras, radar and artificial intelligence to travel between destination without a human operator's intervention. The data includes images from cameras on self-driving cars from which neural network learns to identify traffic lights, trees, curbs, pedestrians, street signs and other parts of any driving environment. The next application are the digital assistants. Google Now, Siri and Cortana are various digital assistants on different mobile platforms. We use them to make calls, send messages, set reminders, take notes, recognize music, check calendars and much more. These are some of the applications of artificial intelligence. So with this, we come to the end of our first session. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.